we don't talk about it being a fixed ether with this sort of eternal nature, or, uh, infinite extent or anything like that anymore. It's, uh, it's the vacuum of electromagnetism is the modern term. We all know what radio waves are, or at least we think we do. People have some picture in their mind of what a radio wave is, but what is it really? It is a disturbance of electromagnetism. The way the universe is apparently set up to work, we have something called electromagnetism, meaning that we can create electric fields and magnetic fields. It turns out if you have a charge just oscillating back and forth, moving back and forth, it creates a disturbance, much like if you take a uh, you know, piece of wood in, in a pond and just bob it up and down, waves will propagate out from the wood. That's exactly what happens with electromagnetism in our vacuum, the vacuum of free space, if you will. You can make electromagnetic waves propagate. Uh, as electromagnetic waves propagate through space, you have an electric field and a magnetic field which is exactly perpendicular to it. So uh, if this is the electric field and this is magnetic field, this is, this is, as this goes from being up to being down, the other one goes from being left to being right, and they oscillate back and forth like that. And um, that's what is pro that disturbance, that positive-negative oscillation is what is propagating through space. Um, so you can actually measure the magnetic field strength of an electromagnetic wave, like a radio wave or something. Light can be what we call redshifted or blue shifted. All right, it can change its frequency. All right, uh, depending on the motion of the object uh, from which it was emitted, uh, depending on how the universe is expanding, but it doesn't change its speed. All right, light coming to us uh, from uh, a faraway galaxy, let's say billions of light years away. All right. Uh, appears to be shifted from its natural frequency to the redder portion of the spectrum because space is stretching out. The expansion of the universe is stretching space out. That doesn't change the speed of light. It changes the frequency of the light. If we were in a collapsing universe instead of an expanding universe and the space was just was, was collapsing in on itself, that light would be shifted to the blue, to the blue end of the spectrum. All right, it would be blue shifted, but it would still be going at the same speed of light. It's a remarkable fact that um, it was discovered in the 19th century by Michelson and Morley ultimately that even though we are moving with respect to light, whenever you try to measure the speed of light, it's always the same, no matter if you're moving away, away from the source of the light or toward the source of the light, uh, it doesn't matter. And that, that's a very weird fact about our universe, and Einstein took that and, and ran with it. <laughs>